At this time, I'm going to go ahead and create the place where I'm going to actually house my website on my local hard drive. So what I'm going to do is come over here, and this is a Windows 7, obviously. I'm going to come over here and I'm going to click on my uh, Files folder. I'm going to open this up, and I'm going to go to Desktop, and I'm going to sort this by, <coughs> excuse me, Details. And I'm going to come down and find my name, Richard Plot. Come over here and find my Documents folder. And then I'm going to create a document folder here that will house my website. So go ahead and click on the new folder. Now, since I'm going to be loading a lot of files onto this computer quickly, I'm going to go ahead and key in 001 underscore web site. The reason I put 001 underscore website is that I want it to always be at the top of my listing of my file folders. So I've got that up here. I'm going to double click on it now. I'm going to create a new folder here. I'm going to call it images. Now, if I go back to my documents, you'll see website, and then you click on that, you'll see images. Images is where I'll house all of my image files, my JPEGs, my ping files, my GIF files, and probably my movie files as well. Now, with that said, the place where I'm going to house my actual website will be in the website folder itself. That'll have all my HTML files, my JavaScript files, and my cascading style sheets. Now, those probably don't make a lot of sense right now, but they will over time. But anyway, this is where I set up my website for my local hard drive and where I'll store all of my information. Okay, now that we've got our website set up where we have our images folder, the next thing we need to do is to have Dreamweaver communicate with that folder. So Dreamweaver knows and can set up all the file relationships and all the structures necessary to build a successful website. It needs to know where this folder is and it needs to, in its own structure, create that link and create that relationship. So now what I'm going to do is go to Dreamweaver and here in Dreamweaver in the initial splash, which I like to keep that up because I use it quite often, I can come up here at the type, top and I can go and select uh, site and I can click on manage sites. That's one way of doing it. The other way of doing it, which is really fast, is to come over here and to select on a uh, new site right here using that pull down icon. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to go ahead and create a name and I'm going to call this portfolio underscore website underscore plat for my last name. Then I'm going to go and give it a location to look for and I'll find it right up here where it says 001 underscore website. Click on that and select that and hit open. And then when I do that, I click select. Now it's gone out and it's created this relationship. I need to save that and there it is. I've set up my website. And see, so you can see over here in the <coughs> excuse me files panels, you can see where it says portfolio, website, plat. Now I can also click on this pull down and I can see a whole lot of other sites that I've created uh, in my projects that I've done for either myself or for other people. And as a web developer, when you start going out and developing websites for other people, this list can get quite long, which that's a good thing because that means that you're successful and you're having a lot of people that you're doing business for. So we'll click on that. Now we can also go back up here to where it says manage sites, click on that. And here it brings up a files folder view within Dreamweaver so you can see all the sites that you have created. Once you get more than you see here, you can scroll down and even see a scroll bar here on the side so you can see all the sites that you've created. So for our purpose right now, we have a portfolio website underscore plot. We'll say done. And now we're ready to start building our website. Now we'll come back to this later and we start building our first website. One last but a very important concept when working with Dreamweaver. For our first development project we're going to do for our website, we're going to develop this website locally. We will not be developing this on a remote server. If you notice over here in the files panel, you'll see an electrical cord that shows it says connect to remote server. For our development purposes and our initial development of this website, we really don't need to be hooked up to a remote, remote server somewhat different location. Now, if we were hooked up to a uh, remote server, then you would see over here a remote server view here as you see. 
Now we're not going to do that for this first part of our website. Later we will and I will show you how to connect to your remote server. We'll also show you how to use the file transfer protocol which will show our website here and will show our remote site over here wherever that site may be located either in California or New York or India or wherever the site may be actually hosted. We'll show you how to manage that whole process. But for right now in the initial development stages of our site we're going to concentrate on putting everything locally, testing it out locally, showing all our local images, videos, whatever we have here locally. So that's how we're going to build a site initially. So don't be concerned until later when we get to the point where we upload our sites to our actual web hosting server.